Hi, I'm Coach David Halal. Today we're going to talk about battle talk. Uh, George S. Patton is, uh, was a great general in the uh, military uh, back in the um, late 18, um, early 1900s. There's a quote that I'd like to read for you today. He says, success is how high you bounce when you hit bottom. I think that's a good one. Success is how high you bounce when you hit bottom. He also said that battle is the most magnificent competition in which a human being can indulge. It brings out all that is best in you. It removes all that is base. And he also said, all men are afraid in battle. The coward is the one who lets his fear overcome his sense of duty and purpose. Because duty or purpose is the essence of manhood. All the greats, all the great men of the world, all the great women of the world, you know, that ever lived before us or will live after us, will have to fight some kind of battle. Sometimes you fight battles with diseases. Sometimes you, you know, most of the times, you know, actually most countries in the world are fighting the battle of poverty and diseases and sickness. You know, some people don't have water to drink. Some people, you know, clean water to drink. Some people don't have, you know, um, a fighting for jobs. So we all are fighting. We all are battling for something. So I believe that truly success is how high you bounce after you hit bottom because all of us at a certain time we hit bottom we we we, we failed or or maybe you know we, we 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 were sick or what have you but once you hit bottom you got to get up you got to get up so i want today to tell you a few things about battling battling or battle should be an event, not a lifestyle. You should not be fighting or battling your entire life. Because life is not all about battling. However, you must, however, you must battle so you can get out of a, of a situation, you know? Um, me, for me, my greatest problem have not been, ha, uh, has not been battling or has not been um, uh, you know, um, uh, only battling, but it has been choosing the wrong weapon at a certain battle. You know, sometimes you're battling and the words that are you, that you are using or, uh, the energy that you are putting forth is not the right kind of energy that you should be using. So therefore you must choose your weapon in every battle strategically, precisely and wisely. You must, because if you choose the wrong um, words or the wrong weapon, then you'll end up getting hurt or doing more damage than success. Sometimes while you are focusing on something, certain things will come in your way to break your focus. Because sometimes battles are bridges and sometimes battles are you know, a, a distraction. So you must discern the difference. You must know what's the right strat uh, strategy. You must know where you're going. Are, are you going right? Are you going left? Are you choosing your weapon wisely? You know, you must choose when to fight. Don't never let your enemy choose the weapon for you. Don't ever let your enemies choose the time for you to battle. You must battle at your own pace and at your own time. So if you do that, if you do that, you will mostly have success. Now, the last thing I'd like to tell you is that those who attack you, those who attack you have found you more interesting than their own future. Because if they have time to attack you, it's because they have realized that your future is brighter than theirs. I don't know if you get it. Let me say it again. Those who attack you have found you more interesting than their own future. I want to coach you. I want to coach you 
towards your success. I want to walk with you. It's kind of like, you know, you're teaching your kid or someone riding a bike. I remember when I was taking my motorcycle uh, license in back in 2004, I was on a, um, you know, in, in, in uh, um, Hallandale, Florida, and I'm learning, but although I was, you know, back then, um, you know, in my um, uh, late 20s, 28, 29 years old, I had to have the coach next to me, the trainer, the person who's coaching me how to ride the bike, uh, motorcycle, um, next to me telling me what to do, you know, change gear now or, or switch gear or, or press the clutch or, or go faster. Why? Why? Because in life, you always need coaching. So while you're going through your battle, while you're going through your go-throughs, you need a coach. Email me at dyhalal at gmail.com. Um, so I can coach you towards your future. So you can battle effectively and battle with your mind. This is David Halal, fearlessly and passionately pursuing his call and his destiny. I'm excited. You excited? Go ahead down there and subscribe while I remove my hat. How's that? All right. We'll, I'll see you later. We'll talk later. Can't wait to talk to you. Bye-bye. When you email me, make sure you email me with your information, with your phone number, with your email address, or any way you want me to contact you. Bye-bye.